Hey everyone, uh, thought it was time to give an update on the backyard project. Uh, I'm not going to take you for another tour down the stretch that you already know. So I'm going to start from the new area, which is now the back side of the garage. I've got the loop complete. So it starts over here. Got the shingles all laid out, incorporated a rock cut into it. As you'll see in a second here, I'll take you for a walk down. Being from north northwestern Ontario, I thought you got to have rock cuts on your road. So incorporate a little bit here, make it a little more of a challenge and keep the speeds down, seeing as it is a pretty long straight stretch. Now we get down to the back. Got the material laid out, gravel pit is ready for whatever kind of stuff I'm going to use to load with the brooder. It was not the strongest loader, so I don't know how dense of a material I can use. Working on that next. But anyways, so there's the, the highway three layers thick ended up it was three bundles to do everything I've got here two layers over here three back there now the other thing that I've added seeing as I couldn't attend the indie show this year due to circumstances out of my control got home with all kinds of time to spare and thought that's it I'm building a loading dock Just purchased a GoPro camera, so I'll be working on doing some videos of running the road, hopefully later this evening or in the next couple days. All it is, I converted a wooden pallet into the dock, capped it with some thin plywood. And voila, a little bit of paint. Had some leftover screening that uh, cut and painted up. So yeah. So now we can still road all the way around, back up around the garage, back side of the garage, around through the backyard. And back to the dock. So, I think it turned out pretty good. I started at maybe 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon till 9 ish, I guess, because of the daylight. And was at it till about 2 o'clock this afternoon today. And there's where I'm at. Hope you like. Thanks.